Welcome back all my movie maniacs, it is that time, it is I, and we are looking at a short film for you today, but it's not a horror short, no, this short film is kind of, I would say, crime drama noir type film, and it's called Kofax. Now, Kofax is uh, played by Rob Romero, who we saw in Dirty Sanchez, he was... Dirty Sanchez. Well, now he's playing the title role again as Kofax, a man who is, you know, a nice family man. He's trying to provide for his family. He's got kids and everything, trying to take care of them and, and just sure that they have the best possible life he can provide. Little do they know, though, the way he's doing this is by being a, a, a crime lord in the town of Mancrete for his territory. Well, when well, the movie starts, we catch him in the plot to try to uh, eliminate the competition, if you will, so he can increase his influence as a criminal kingpin in this town of Mancrete. But that uh, plan is thrown a little bit in a disarray with the uh, appearance of a vigilante who appears to be uh, taking out not only the competition, but just cause you know causing problems for business and so we see how Kofax juggles that now this isn't a long film okay and it is a micro low budget uh short film so you have to take that into account because the audio is rough the editing is decent uh, but picture quality at times might be a little low uh, as well but what i did enjoy here was the story of Kofax, this idea of a guy leading the double life and the scale of crime lord that he was in kind of a uh, a breaking bad feel sort of but not not dealing with drugs so much as just dealing with you know the family uh, so I really liked that angle and that story in fact uh, Kofax is going to be part of a bigger project a full feature that's coming out in 2014 called Midnight in the Heart of Mancrete and I'm really looking forward to that because this story really made want me want to see more of what happens to these characters uh, now Rob Romero playing Kofax does an excellent job he also got Kevin Croak in here Blaine uh, Childers, uh, William Carnes, all do some fantastic performances in here with uh, what they have, okay? And, and I like the script, too. The dialogue didn't seem forced, seemed fun, and, and, and seemed fitting for the characters that they had. And in general, it really gave us a flavor for what's going to be in Midnight in the Heart of Mancrete. And I'm very interested to see where they take these characters and what the Midnight in the Heart of Mancrete is going to finally look like. Because if uh, this is just a taste of what we've got, I think uh, we'll be pleasantly surprised with the full-length feature. So, if you're interested in an independent uh, crime drama, if you will, uh, kind of a noir field film, uh, check out Kofax. I'll put the information down below where you can get uh, a copy of this short film, and if you do get it, let me know what you think about it. And remember, it is a micro, no-budget film, so you have to take that into account and focus more on the performance and the story that you have here, which definitely all shows potential for a uh, better, uh, for a really interesting story that's going to be out in 2014 in Midnight in the Heart of Mancrete. So that's Kofax, folks, and I'm Mark the Movie Man. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep that ticket stuff.